Why do engine overheat? Signs your engine is overheating. What not to do when your engine overheats? What to do when your engine overheats? Common causes of engine overheat. Frequently asked questions. Why do engine overheat? Engines can overheat for many reasons. In general, it's because something's wrong within the cooling system and heat isn't able to escape the engine compartment. Overheating problems can be the result of a lot of things, but there are some basic things to check if you are experiencing problems with overheating. Signs your engine overheating. If you are able to take steps to cool your engine before it overheats to the point of failing, you may reduce the risk of irreversible engine damage. But first, you've got to notice the symptoms of overheating. Steaming hood. Steam, which can look like smoke, coming from under the engine hood. Temperature gauge is red. An engine temperature gauge on your dashboard that spikes to H or into the red. Engine temperature gauge symbols vary, so consult your owner's manual. Burning smell. A strange smell coming from the engine area. For example, leaking coolant can smell sweet while leaking oil might smell more burnt. What not to do when your engine overheats? Don't panic. Your engine isn't keeping its cool, but you can. Avoid swerving through traffic or slamming on your brakes when pulling off the road. Don't keep driving. If your engine is overheating but still running, you're not doing it any favors by staying on the road. Sure, you may be able to get to your destination before it gives out entirely, but you may cause significant, and costly, damage by pushing your engine too far. Don't open the engine hood immediately. Once you've pulled over, wait for the engine to cool before popping the hood to check things out. Opening the hood immediately can put you at risk of burns or injuries from spewing steam or smoke. Patience is key. Wait until the engine temperature gauge settles before opening the hood. What to do when your engine overheats? Turn off the AC and turn on the heat. Immediately turn off the air conditioner to reduce stress on the engine. Then, turn the dial to maximum heat. This can help pull heat away from the engine to keep it from overheating until you can pull over in a safe location. You may get a little hot yourself. But a few minutes of discomfort is a small price to pay compared to major engine repairs. Find a safe place to pull over. Pull over and shut off the car. Allow the engine to cool for at least 15 minutes. Keep an eye on the temperature gauge, as it should move back to a normal range as the engine cools. While you're waiting, and watching the gauge, put together a plan to get your overheated engine checked out. Call a friend, a tow truck or your local Firestone roadside assistance for help. We'll dispatch a trained representative to tow your vehicle to the nearest Firestone Complete Auto Care Store or help with step number 3. Check and add radiator coolant, if you have it. If your coolant level is low, a quick top-off could help protect your engine and prevent overheating until you can get things fixed. However, this step won't do much good if a coolant hose is clogged or the source of your troubles is a broken radiator fan or water pump. Consult your owner's manual to find the location of your coolant reservoir tank and to learn how to add coolant to your vehicle. Restart the engine. If your car isn't being towed, now's the time to carefully restart your engine and drive to your nearest auto repair shop. Keep an eye on the temperature gauge as you drive. If it rises again, Pull over and let the system cool. Common causes of engine overheat. Leak in the cooling system. Leaks are the number one reason a vehicle begins to overheat. Leaks in hoses, the radiator, water pump, thermostat housing, heater core, head gasket, freeze plugs and a few other things can all lead to problems with the vehicle's cooling system. If you suspect a leak, or have had to add coolant to the reservoir don't wait to get it checked. A small leak can quickly turn into an expensive repair and a serious headache. Checking the coolant level is pretty easy, but you have to wait until the engine is cool. If you open the system while it is hot, hot coolant can spray out. The liquid gets hot enough to cause severe burns. If you do not have experience with checking the cooling system, 
You should take the car to a garage and have the technician check the coolant level for you. Coolant concentration. Your engine isn't keeping its cool, but you can. Avoid swerving through traffic or slamming on your brakes when pulling off the road. You always want to use the correct type of coolant in your vehicle. The wrong coolant or the wrong mixture of coolant and distilled water can cause your vehicle to overheat. If you're worried about your coolant concentration and haven't kept up on regularly scheduled vehicle maintenance, a complete cooling system flush is in order. Coolant actually becomes corrosive over time, accelerating the wear on the cooling system. Radiator Issues Leaks and clogging can lead to your radiator failing and any disruption in the radiator's function can lead to overheating since it can't pull the heat away from the rest of the cooling system. If the radiator in your car is old, rust and sludge can build up inside the cooling tubes where the coolant passes through the system. The result is a lower than normal amount of water passing through the radiator and the coolant not dropping in temperature properly. As the temperature climbs, the situation compounds on itself and the engine will eventually overheat. Bad Radiator Fan Your radiator fan pulls air across the radiator to help reduce the coolant's temperature but a worn fan clutch or broken fan motor can't help to reduce the temperature and will lead to overheating. Bad Thermostat The thermostat is like a valve that opens and closes as a function of its temperature. The thermostat isolates the engine from the radiator until it has reached a certain minimum temperature. Without a thermostat, the engine would always lose heat to the radiator and take longer to warm up. Bad Water Pump Your car's water pump takes water from the radiator and moves it through the motor back to the radiator, where the cycle begins again. It makes sure your motor remains at a constant temperature, no matter the weather. The water from the radiator heats up as it makes its way through the motor. If the pump fails, the coolant flow will stop and the engine will overheat. Most of the time, if the water pump fails, it is a bearing in the pump that seizes or the seal on the pump shaft that fails. The result is a catastrophic failure and the temperature will rise extremely quickly. Often the failure is followed by copious amounts of steam coming from under the hood and coolant leaking from the pump. Engine Belt Proper belt function is closely related to how well your water pump works. The engine belt turns the water pump to move the coolant through the system. If the engine belt is loose or broken, it cannot help maintain the correct volume of coolant flow and can lead to overheating. Make sure to tighten or replace broken belts to keep everything cool and avoid bigger engine problems. Worn out or burst hoses Hoses with cracks or even holes will leave you with a leaky engine and will disrupt the coolant's flow. Your water pump can't circulate coolant that's not there due to it having leaked out from one of the hoses. Engine oil is too low. Motor oil helps to control the temperature of your car's engine by minimizing friction. So, if your car is low on oil, possibly due to an oil leak, it can lead to engine overheating. Frequently Asked Questions can you drive with an overheated engine? Driving your car when it's overheating can cause serious and sometimes permanent damage to your engine, so it's best to stop driving as soon as possible. How do I know if my coolant is circulating? One way to check for proper coolant circulation is to check the upper and lower radiator hoses. The upper radiator hose should be hot, around 190 to 200 degrees Fahrenheit. The safest and most accurate way to get this temperature reading is with an infrared thermometer. Is it worth fixing blown head gasket? In a word, yes. You cannot ignore a blown head gasket and expect to keep your car running in good condition. If a blown head gasket is not repaired in a timely fashion you risk a cascade effect of damage. Why is my car overheating without thermostat? Running an engine without the thermostat can cause the engine to overheat due to the coolant passes through the engine too fast and will not let the coolant absorb the heat from the engine. If the radiator has clogged cores then it will be able to cool the engine enough and it will overheat. Why is my coolant low but no leaks? When you are losing coolant but no leak is visible, several parts could be the guilty party. It could be a blown head gasket, a fractured cylinder head damaged cylinder bores, or a manifold leak. It could also be a hydraulic lock, 